Although staple packet inspection firewalls are much more capable than static packet filtering firewalls, staple packet inspection files have their own limitations one of which is to not be able to look at everything in a given packet so for example staple packet inspection or SPI firewalls they look at the port numbers they look at the source IP addresses, they look at the destination IP addresses but they don't really look at the payload of the packet, I mean the data part of the packet so if you're talking about malicious content uh, viruses and so on or malware or spam emails arriving at your computer the staple packet inspection files they don't have ability to know this because they cannot look at the content of your packet so that's why they have another type of uh, firewall called application proxy firewalls so this type of firewall takes a look at the content of a packet therefore being able to make a decision on the content of the packet so obviously the biggest advantage of using this type of firewall is uh, the ability to detect malicious code or unauthorized contents in a packet to give you an example let's say you run a company and you don't want your employees to visit certain websites uh, using static packet filtering firewalls or staple packet inspection firewalls you cannot really block or prevent your employees from visiting these websites because they don't look at the contents of the packets however if you use uh, application proxy firewall they allow you to look at the content of every packet going out of your network so in this case the content you're looking for is the URL so you can look at what URL for example when your employee makes a HTTP request in the request packet you can actually look at what URL is being or what web page is being requested so based on that you can make a decision to actually drop the packet and say or intercept the packet and say this kind of website is not allowed for viewing now one of the disadvantages of this type of firewalls is that application proxy files they're very application specific I mean they have to be built to look at certain types of packets by focusing on a particular application so for example the application proxy firewalls have to be built to monitor a particular application such as web traffic or HTTP traffic is monitored by HTTP proxy firewalls or email traffic is monitored by an email proxy and so on so very application specific and this leads to higher cost and in some cases you cannot use application proxy firewalls when these applications are relatively new and there may be no solutions available to handle uh, such a new application type